Financial manager Suk Woo is a workaholic, divorced from his wife and a father who doesn't have much time for his daughter. Suwon, a little girl who wants to spend her birthday with her mother in Busan. Initially, Suk Woo is reluctant to go to Busan due to his busy schedule, but he changes his mind after seeing a video of Suwon trying to sing at her school and experiencing stage fright because of his absence. Feeling guilty, he decides to grant Suwon birthday wish to meet her mother in Busan. The next day, in the morning, they board the KTX 101 train at Seoul Station, en route to Busan. Other passengers include Sang Hwa and his pregnant wife Song Kion, Seo Yeon Suk, high school baseball team members including player Yong Gok and his cheerleader girlfriend Jean Hee, sisters and Gil and John Gil, and a mysterious passenger hiding in the restroom. Before the train departs, a sick woman runs into the train unbeknownst to everyone. During the journey, her bruised and swollen leg starts convulsing. Flight attendant Min Ji tries to help her, but the woman suddenly turns into a zombie and attacks Min Ji, who also turns. Min Ji and another passengers who turned into a zombie start attacking other passengers, and the infection quickly spreads throughout the train. In the chaos, passengers flee to different cars and lock the doors. They learn from internet reports and phone calls that the epidemic is spreading southward nationwide. The government instructs the captain of the KTX to stop at Taejin Station, where the military is supposed to help evacuate passengers. When the train stops at Taejin Station, the passengers find the station overrun by military zombies who were supposed to assist the evacuation. The passengers quickly retreat back to the train, now separated into different train cars amidst the chaos. Suk Woo, Sang Hwa, and Young Guk, separated from their loved ones, struggle to reach Suwon and Song Kion, who are hiding within Gil and a homeless man. After regrouping, they fight their way through hordes of zombies towards the front train car, where other survivors are sheltered. However, upon reaching the front car, at Yan Suk's insistence, the passengers prevent the survivors from entering, fearing they might get infected. Sangwa then sacrifices himself to give others time to force the door open, they finally end but Sangwa and Ngil is killed. Yan Suk and the passengers urge the survivors to isolate themselves in the front car. However, John Gill, disgusted by the passengers and desperate due to losing his sister, deliberately opens the door, letting zombies in and killing the passengers in the car. Yan Suk and Kichol escape by hiding in the restroom. During the way, the captain of the KTX sees blocked tracks at East Tegu Station and orders the survivors to get off and find another train. Yan Suk hears this and tries to leave his hiding spot, managing to escape after pushing Ki Chul into the zombies. The survivors begin to disembark as instructed, but then a locomotive starts and derails. Separating the group and trapping Suk Wu, Suwon, Song Kion, and the homeless man under a car full of zombies. Meanwhile, Yan Suk encounters Jin Hee and Young Gok, pushing Jin Hee into a zombie in his attempt to escape. Heartbroken, Young Gok stays with Jin Hee until she turns and infects him. The conductor starts a locomotive on another track but is also thrown into the zombies when trying to save the injured Yan Suk. Suk Wu finds an escape route from under the train. But his path is quickly blocked by falling debris. The homeless man sacrifices himself to give Suk Wu time to clear the debris. And he, Suwon, and Song Kayan manage to escape to a new locomotive. After fighting off zombies hanging on the locomotive, they encounter Yan Suk, who is almost turning into a zombie and pleads for help. Suk Wu manages to push him away but gets bitten. 
He puts Suwon and Song Kyung into the engine room, teaches Song Kyung how to operate the train, and says goodbye to his daughter. In his final moments, he reminisces about Suwon's birth before throwing himself off the locomotive. The remaining survivors, Suwon and Song Kion, managed to reach the border of Busan. However, military blockades forced them to stop the train just outside Busan. They exit the train and continue on foot through a tunnel following the tracks. Snipers are positioned on the other side of the tunnel and prepare to shoot what they believe are zombies, but they lower their weapons upon hearing Suwon sing Aloha Oe as a tribute to her father. The movie ends with a poignant scene, but the zombie disaster continues nationwide. What do you think? Have you watched it? Share your thoughts in the comments section. Thank you for watching and see you in the next movie.